All right, our next uh, presentation is by Dr. Pecorelli uh, out of McGill University in Montreal. Uh, this is a six-minute walk test as a measure of postoperative recovery after colorectal resection for cancer, further examination of its measurement properties. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to thank uh, Sages for the privilege of the podium. Hopefully we'll start. We have an issue with advancing. Yeah. Uh, here okay, go. here we are. So I have uh, no conflicts of interest to disclose. So in uh, the last uh, 20 years, a new surgical techniques and preoperative care protocols have been advocated as they improve recovery after surgery. But as clinicians and researchers, uh, we still don't know what is the best way to quantify recovery after surgery. The recovery itself is a complex construct that includes uh, multiple uh, dimensions of health. And physical function is definitely one of the key dimensions of uh, recovery, as it affects the patient's uh, ability to perform activities of daily living, for example, and return to work and social leisure life. So the six minute walk test is a measure of physical function, is specifically a measure of uh, functional exercise capacity. It's an easy to administer and inexpensive test. It involves um, a patient walking on a flat surface, usually a hallway, uh, between uh, two cones that are 20 meters apart. And then there is an assessor that simply assesses the uh, amount, the distance that the patient walks in six minutes. It was uh, commonly used in patients with cardiac and respiratory diseases, but is now also used in different uh, research and uh, clinical settings. So in our study, uh, the objective was to contribute evidence for the validity of the six minute walk test as a measure of uh, postoperative recovery after colorectal surgery. And by assessing validity, a strategy is uh, to formulate a different hypothesis uh, in which you compare groups of patients that are known to be different for the construct of interest. In this case, it would be different uh, for recovery after surgery. So as an example, we may assume that a younger patient would recover faster than older patients. So in our study, we formulated different hypotheses. Uh, we hypothesized that the distance walked in six minutes at four weeks after surgery would be greater in younger versus older patients, threshold of 75 years, uh, would be greater in patients with higher preoperative physical status as measured by an ASA score uh, lower, uh, equal or lower than two, and be greater after laparoscopic versus open surgery, and would be greater in patients who did not experience uh, postoperative complications versus those who had complications. Finally, we hypothesized that the distance walked in six minutes at four weeks after surgery would have a moderate positive cross-sectional correlation with uh, self-reported physical activity through a questionnaire. So in our study, uh, we used the COSMIN uh, guidelines to formulate uh, our hypothesis and uh, also to report our results. We used uh, a previously validated minimal clinical important difference of 19 meters that uh, may capture significant difference between the groups. And we use multiple linear regression and experiments rank correlation to test our hypothesis. So our study included 151 colorectal resection patients from three previous uh, randomized control trials that were carried out in our institutions that were testing perioperative interventions aiming to improve recovery. And all our patients underwent the six minute walk test preoperatively uh, within four weeks before surgery and also filled out the CHAMPS uh, physical activity questionnaire. And all these patients also performed uh, the six minute walk test and filled out the CHAMPS questionnaires at four weeks after surgery. So these are the characteristics of our patient. And I'd like to point out that uh, a third of our patient had an ACA score of three or greater. And most of our patients were uh, uh, malignant uh, patients. Uh, around 90% uh, of our patients underwent laparoscopic surgery, and half of them were rectal surgery patients. And we can see how the mean six meter walk distance preoperatively was uh, 430 meters. So if we look at postoperative outcomes in our patients, so we have a 30% uh, complication rate. Uh, the median length of stay was four days in our population. And you can see that Interestingly, only around 50% of our patients had recovered to baseline walk distance at four weeks after surgery. So finally, uh, we can look at the results are of uh, our validation, 
And uh, these uh, are the results of a multiple linear regression analysis in which we adjusted the uh, walk distance postoperatively and we adjusted that for the preoperative walk distance. So younger patients walked uh, a mean of 28.3 meters more than older patients. Patients with a higher physical status, so with an ASA score of two or lower, walked a mean of 44 meters more than lower physical status patients. Patients who underwent laparoscopic surgery walked a mean of 59 meters more than open surgery patients, and patients who did not have a postoperative complication walked a mean of 27 meters more than patients who developed any type of postoperative complication. So all our hypotheses were supported by the data in terms of a known groups comparison. And if we look at our cross-sectional correlation with physical activity, as reported with the CHAMPS questionnaire, we have a moderate uh, positive uh, cross-sectional correlation with a correlation coefficient of 0 0.46. So we have uh, confirmed all our five hypotheses. So in conclusion, I can say that our study does contribute further evidence for the validity of the six-minute walk test as a measure of recovery after colorectal surgery. And our results should encourage clinicians and researchers to adopt this test as a measure of postoperative physical performance. Thank you. So uh, questions, you have obviously, the interest is the open versus lap, but the, yeah, the, the open group is small. But in the lap group, do you know about the incision size? Can you, so, do you have that in your prospective data? So we have that uh, coming from uh, the, the randomized control trials. So, yes, usually our patient, you consider that we have a 50% uh, patient in rectal surgery uh, are undergoing phanosteel incision to uh, retrieve the, the specimen. I don't have right now the, the exact data on what was the, the length of the incision in the right. two groups. It'd be interesting when you do look at your data, yep. break it into you know, size of incision, maybe location, in terms of helping us decide, you know, do we, does a fan steel incision matter versus another site? So, so you probably have enough cases. Currently in our institution, there is a, a prospective a randomized trial undergoing, but it's, it's only on colonic surgery in which we are looking at the difference of a transverse incision versus a, a midline incision, which is, of course, is not, not including the fan steel itself. I just had a quick question. Um, so clearly a great, uh, Back, back up uh, for using this as a test to evaluate different treatments, uh, but did you look at or find any predictive ability of how far they could walk in their six minute preoperative test as to how well they did afterwards? Okay, so there, there is uh, actually, there's an equation in which you can see what is the, the, uh, the predicted distance and uh, uh, in, our, uh, in our patients, uh, we saw there was, uh, our patient had a 65% of a mean of predictive, uh, predictive distance. Uh, usually, uh, what we're looking at right now is that patients who walk less than 400 meters mm -hmm. before surgery, there appears to be a correlation with the development of postoperative complications. So those are the patients that do worse, and those are the patients that in our institutions are targeted for uh, what is called prehabilitation. Okay. So patients uh, who uh, are actually trained before surgery. Of course, those are colorectal cancer patients, so we don't have much time as usually a month, but those patients have do, are encouraged to do physical activity. They undergo also uh, an anti-depression, so uh, psychiatric counseling and also nutritional assessment. Interesting, thank you. All right, any other questions? If not, then uh, you gotta make it six minutes. That's, that's the, the message, right? <laughs> All right. Gotta make a good, thank well, you. We look forward you to your work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Gerald.